Hi guys and welcome to this episode of the Just My Opinion podcast. Over here on the Just My Opinion podcast, we talk about everything entertainment across the African scene. Sometimes we even go beyond the African scene, if I'm being honest. So if you're interested in topics like that, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification button. So, hi Ambassador. Hello people, it's your boy Ambassador. Ambassador again doing this thing. Today we are going to be reacting to this post from Derek. Derek says, Sakodi versus Manifest versus Samini. Manifest is better than Sakodi because he has better and deeper lyrics. No disrespect to Sakodi, but Manifest is in a different league of his own. Sakodi has no hit song on his own. He feeds on collaborations. That's what he does best. Then he also shares this um, post from Sam Mini, which says Sakodi has no hits on his own. He feeds of collaboration. That's what he does best. So, <sighs> okay. So, I mean, one thing we are known for reacting to on this channel is definitely the rough beef or the rough vessels. This who is better, and there are a lot of. Um, a lot of times it, it 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 always boils down to preference personal preferences like when i say who my favorite rapper is i know the ambassador is like he's not even among the top top 10 uh, favorite rappers in africa because he doesn't no, see nursery school <laughs> yeah if, in case you're wondering that's nice to see i mean i've not even been listening to nice to see a lot of recent so i i don't even know who my favorite is presently but yeah so i i think a lot of times when we when we talk about the best social musically it was it all it all boils down to personal interest <laughs> but what do you think do you think um manifest okay so, so, so. Be before you even say anything what, what i what i wanted to say was um sakodi firstly we cannot really judge or how deep his lyrics are mindful of the fact that majority of his lyrics are not in a language that we who don't understand we don't understand what he's saying so it's really a difficult comparison to make go ahead ambassador okay so as usual i always say yeah I really hope that when I say some of these things I say on just my opinion, which is just my opinion, people listen to it, insult me, that helps them feel better in their lives because I'm all about elevating people's spirits. That helps them feel better, insult me. But when they're done with the insults, they think about what I'm saying. So I've always said, Sakodi may be ranked high, but just for a very small few who understand what he's saying. Because the, the art of um, rapping is what we say, it's uh, poet poetry in motion. There are certain literary devices we use to analyze poetry, which we can as well bring them to rap. But also rap has its core benchmarks from which we usually use to measure rap. So Sarkozy ticks very high when it comes to flow. But when it comes to poetic skills and all of those things, I cannot even begin to analyze them because I don't hear most of the things he says. I cannot appreciate his bars like that. I cannot appreciate his, uh, should I call it, punchlines like that. I cannot appreciate his uh, triple, double and tandos like that because I don't understand what he's saying. That being said, fans will still be insulting me in three, writing their Ghanaian dialect on that comment section. I'm like, my brother, I just said, simple. Some of these fans know some of these literary things I'm talking about. Like if you watch like, uh, what was his name? Sheldon. I just yelled on the Ganyan guy. Sorry, I have a cold. <clears throat> he breaks down some of these Sakodi lines. At times, he tries to translate some of the tree for it to make sense also are non Ganyans. That's what I think some of these people should be doing in their comment section. They should enlighten us on some of the things he's saying. Because I don't like when I when I listen to Sakodi when he did try me going at Ivan Nelson, which was a large part was in English. You can see that this guy knows he, he can rap. But it's not the same level of manifest. I've always said this, but Ganyans will keep on saying, what has more hits? It's not about hits. Sakodi jumped on their zone toes and the Afro beat bandwagons and he made hits. He has hits that we cannot deny. First, to even set the context, I think um, this Samini has some issues with Sakodi right now. They're having some back and forth online. So these comments might not be coming from the most neutral place. But mine are coming from the most neutral place. Manifest is a beast when it comes to rap. So my best rapper in Africa is M.I. Abaga. 
But manifest is here. Those who heard this track he just released, the anniversary celebrating the 50th anniversary of hip hop, he tied to the song 50 years. If you know what that guy did, it was, it was like a painting. He took his time to do the history of rap, the various years, there are various punchlines. So he will, he will talk about a thing like, let's say, naughty by nature. Use the word naughty by nature as an English sentence, but also using it because it's the name of a rap group, and then throwing in a line which was used by naughty by nature, which was like a triple and tant in most of his lines. The guy, I mean, like even American rap reviews, because I watch even rap reviews in America, they were blown away by what Manifest did with hip hop, the history of hip hop and how much he knew and how much, what he did with the, the whole, his flow was, I feel like if hip hop will ever be taken serious, like I'm seeing in some Harvard and other places, people are going to give lectures. This should be a masterpiece that should be printed and given to students like, study this, break it down. The man, what manifested on 50 years, I almost like, the night I first heard it, my spirit first took him above M.I. Then I said, no, 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 slow down. Mm -hmm. M.I. took a number of years to get to this place, bring him back with me. Yeah. But I almost put him above M.I. So I've been talking about Manifest for years. From when they did, there was a thing they did, which um, I don't know if those were rap fans, The Chosen. The Chosen where we have um, E.L., we have um, Sarko Dier, we have uh, Manifest, and we have um, D. Black. Those were like the best Ghanaian rappers at the time. When you hear um, um, that, 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 that uh, manifest entrance and the things he said, it was not even like his best line, but that's when I started paying attention to manifest. Those were like their early flows. If you can watch it, Google it, um, The Chosen, or I don't know if it was El Chosen or The Chosen. It's EL's song, but all three rappers are in it. Both of, all of them were looking slim, slim in that song. And you could see poverty was still interacting with them from time to time. When you listen to the flow, that's when I started paying attention to Manifest. And then now down the line, the guy has proven to be a beast. If you go to places like Kenya and South Africa where hip hop is big, they will always rank rate Manifest higher than Sarkozy. But Sarkozy in all as an artist is bigger. It was a guy who won other MTV, this won this award. Mm. Yes, yes, as on those. When it comes to the art of rapping, manifest kills him for days. Mm. I will show Ghanians, comment session, insult, open the door, let's go. After manifest for me, I put uh, what was this young guy's name? Um, this guy who had beef with um, Lyrica Joe. Lyrica Joe. I'll put Lyrica Joe after manifest in Ghana. Wow. Because Lyrica Jotu is, is crazy. Wow. Does he have that amount of work to be put that, up there? So that's the problem, right? Mm -hmm. He does not have that amount of work. But he has this thing he releases. Is it of July or photo something he usually releases? Mm -hmm. Picasso did not need to paint as much as John down the street in Cameroon is painting. But the one thing he did, what he represents. So it's true, we, we, in rap, we look at catalog, we are going to look at the hits you have, we are going to look at um, some strong, should I call it beef or distract portfolio, right? But there are people who, Tupac did not live that long. Some people have out lived and out released to more than two pack, right? But when we look at what he did in that period of time, so that's the, the, that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, it's true. Okay, maybe it's too soon to put Lyrica Joe there, but I also think it's unfair to ramp anybody above Lyrica Joe in Ghana. When we come to see one talk about lyric, lyrical skills. Mm. So I, I may not be that informed about Ghanaian, but from those who are listening to what I'm saying, you know that I, I know a little bit about Ghanaian hip-hop, but African hip-hop, I follow those things close. So, yeah, I would, EL is good, but I will not put EL above Lyrica Joe. 
maybe durability, longevity of service or whatever, yeah, but Lyrica Joy is sick, yeah, mm. is. So, but for sure, Manifest is the best when it comes to lyrical skills. Now, as I said, those who are Sakode fans, please do us that honor. Just go on that, so give us a track and break it down. I mean, like, hip hop is like school. You don't just tell the person who's taking first in class that I'm smarter than you. It's just that I want you to take first. Nah, man. Next test, just beat him. Have a better score. So it's simple. Pick up a Sakodi lyrics. Because you know, like, some of these are Afro things, right? Somebody can just say, uh, Choma money, she know the funny, bring on plenty. And then people like it. It's on a good beat. Choma money, she know the funny, bring on plenty. We are dancing to it. That's rubbish. Mm. If we are being honest, mm. there is not too much thinking to that. After somebody has drank two bottles, you don't have to think too much. Chop my money, she know the funny, bring up plenty. It's enough for them. Their audience, they are audience, they are thinking for us, drunk to and those who want to think. Last, and I want to think, mm. I don't want to hear chop my money, bring up plenty. <laughs> so, Sako D in some of those his three lines might just be playing with plenty of chop my money, bring up plenty, you know the funny, and catching those stupid dialect things, and it's, it's, it's good, right? But translate it and then make it make sense and then t- make us see the wow in it. And then we're going to be like, okay, though we don't understand what this guy is saying, it's heavy. That's one way to go about it to prove their point. Rather than just saying, insulting people and saying Sakode is the best, he won this award. No, we're not saying no win the award. His flow is sick. That is granted. But now, let's go into the detail. It's not about saying that you don't know you're insulting people. Not about insulting people. Break it down. Say this song, this verse, this is what he said, this is what he said, this is what he said, this is what he said. If you translate it to English, triple and tandre, double and tandre, this is the yeah. Rhyme scheme I give him is flow is sick, yeah. But when it comes to some of those smart lines and punch, yeah, I'm not really seeing it like that. So with that being said, my Ghanaian brothers, Akwaba. <laughs> okay, um, let's talk about our sponsors recorded online. As usual, Echo Online is here to bring money to the African artist entertainer as a whole, help you monetize your art, um, you help you stream your music, sell your music, sell merchandise, sell tickets, artist booking, all of those things integrated in one app, just in your phone, your hand. That's what labels do for you, that's what they take 50%, 70% of your money, but with your phone and with your hand, you just have to put in the work. What is the work? The work is to create a profile on Echo Online. Share on your social media handles every day for the next two years. Be telling your fans, follow me on Echo Online. I have a new song to be released. Follow me on Echo Online. I'll be giving free T-shirts, free this for people who follow me on Echo Online. Build that community. But the difference with this Echo Online is a social media kind of space. But the difference is it's adapted to payment methods. It's tilting your followers towards paying for things. Other sites just want interaction, like comment, like comment, tag. Echo online. If I'm tagging you, you are seeing it. It's telling you to buy. It's selling something. So the numbers you have there, if you really have numbers on Echo online, it will not be those kind of numbers which just come to comment. It will be numbers that will bring money to your pocket. You can show conversion rate from these things. Like you have 1,000 fans, you put out tickets. You have 1,000 tickets sold. You have 10,000 fans, 10,000 tickets. So you can use that to go to company and say, look at it. this is my conversion rate. When I put this out, and, and the site has good analytics, so you can actually go out there and pull your analytics, print it, take it to a company, negotiate good deals, and things like that. So it's all about business, making money with our ads. It's all in your phone, but you have to master how it works and then put in the work to build it. So jump on Echo Online, share your social story with us, your boy Ambassador said. So thank you guys for tuning into this episode and subscribe, hit the notification button. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>